then the Faker machine will run through its little self-test. self-check so it does tell you it's ready and then it's going to come up with the programs so you can select just a standard surgeon program and that will have all of the parameters for just a general surgeon or whatever doctor comes there to visit and is using the FACO machine then you can set up it accordingly to their uh, parameters which they can download them on a zip drive and it can be loaded into the back of the FACO machine um, and it would load down their parameters so uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to select Dr. Garrett's parameters. So I clicked uh, on the doctor. His two programs come up. He likes stop and chop, so I'm going to select on that. And then we are ready to proceed with setting up. Okay. All right, so this is the tubing that comes in the packaging. This is your tray ring cover that will cover your tray here. Uh, this little drape goes over your screen, so then you're able to touch it in a sterile manner. You just open up the drape and put it over the back like that. And it just hangs there so this way you can touch it and everything's sterile. This is your tubing. So I'm just going to put the drape on. And it says right on the drape, you know, put your hand, your right hand, left hand, and then you'll just feed it on the tray. And you just want to make a little pocket here because this is where the BSS water will go into um, for you to calibrate uh, the paper machine. Okay, so I'm just going to tear off the strip there. And this is the tubing that the scrub technician wants to hold on to. And then you transfer everything to the circulator, everything else, and then she is going to set it up into the bottle. So Jennifer is opening that. And you just extend the little pocket there. That's going to catch the excess water. And then she's just going to load it into the side of the fecal machine. And you just kind of load it in straight, and the machine will grab it on its own. Okay? And then it'll tell you that it's loaded so you know it's, it's done. You're going to take off the little plastic cap off the BSS bottle and the cap off the end of the tip, and you're going to spike the bottle. Okay, so just crimp the bottom of the, bottom of the tube as you spike the bottle. That will let, allow less air bubbles to get into the tube. And then you just squeeze the uh, reservoir area there, squeeze it, just so it will fill up with um, BSS. And then that's all you do for that right now. Then the scrub technician is going to take the tubing. It's kind of uh, stuck together. And you're just going to pull it apart. And we're going to take our FACO tray and our FACO heater piece and you're going to take the blue tip and put it there and the white tip will go there. And you just want to make sure they're in there tightly. Okay. And then you're going to plug it into the FACO machine. And it has a little red dot here and there's a red line there and you want those two dots to match up. So you just put it in and push it. That's all you do. To take it out, you pull back on this silver sleeve and pull it out. And then you need to put a FACO tip on it, which is this little gold piece, and it just screws into the top. So you screw it in, and then you'll have a little item that looks like that. It's a little wrench. You put that on top, and you tighten it once and then twice, just to make sure it's nice and tight. Then you're going to take your purple sleeve and you're going to put it on top of the tip and just screw it down until the gold tip just sticks up the edge of the purple sleeve. Okay. Then you're going to take your tubing and the cord and just wrap it around your hand about three times so you can stick it into your pocket with the tip facing down. And then you just take your cord out of the way here. You also want to have available your little uh, sleeve because that's going to have to go over when you do your prime tune. So now I'm going to hit um, start here and this is just going to put some of the BSS solution inside the bag there for our surgery. 
So we have it set to 90 seconds, and that's just going to um, put a nice little knot in here to fill it in. You see it's coming down the tube, and then it just fills into the bag there. And when you do that, it'll stop automatically once it's filled. And now it's done, so it stopped. So now you're going to hit prime tune and you want to have your sleeve ready. So you're going to hit prime tune and it's going to start to pour out of there. And you want to just fill it up and push it on and then just place it upright like that. And the machine is going to run through its tests. And once it goes 100% complete on both, then your uh, FACO hand piece is calibrated. And as you can see, it's counting down on the screen of how much longer it has to go. So while this is going on, you can be setting up the rest of your tray because you don't really have to do anything while it's um, calibrating. So then once it's completed, you'll go to your screen where your um, all your uh, systems are set. Okay, so then you just take your little sleeve off, empty out the water, and you just leave it in a little holder until you're ready to begin. The other part that is in the tray that was sent is, this is your IA handpiece, and then these are the various tips. Whichever surgeon will pick the tip that they want, you would just take that tip and just place it in here. And then to hook this up to the FACO, when the doctor is ready, he will take both these pieces off and just put that back in there. And then he will um, attach them here, or you can attach them however they prefer. And they just go right in there like you did in the handpiece, and then you just leave that there until the doctor's ready for the IA. Once you're all done with your case, um, the machine will automatically go to the end, but if not, you just hit end case, end case. and it'll come here and you can shut down. And you just hit shut down, continue shut down, yes, and then it'll shut down the FACO machine. Off the tubing, you just Press that silver button, and it'll pop the unit out, and you just pull it out, and then un um, take it out of the bottle. And then we just put it in here, and then we just take this off and throw it away.